let's start with the Nancy Pelosi video. It's just been released. We figured we ask you about it and just want to warn everyone at home. It can be tough to watch. You know, if it's sensitive, you might not want to watch, but here it is. It's on the screen. And uh, I don't know if you've seen it yet, Mercedes, but you can kind of react. It's, you know, as a human, you look at this, it's very tough to watch. The question, though, is not so much, you know, we all wish Paul Pelosi gets better. The question a lot of us have is why did it take so long to get this video out? And why did it take the media suing the San Francisco DA's office to get it released? Right. Well, it was so interesting because this district judge from San Francisco, they were trying to not get this video released because they were concerned. The concern was the spreading of false information. That was one of the one of the arguments that the judge made. However, as we know, the news agencies basically said, wait a second, let's look at the video footage and let's help in ensuring that we dispel any of this false information that could be uh, swirling around on the Internet. And quite frankly, being able to have this transparency and the access to what has happened, uh, that obviously the, the, that tragic uh, uh, night with Paul Pelosi where he was injured, uh, I think it's important. It's important for uh, the public to know, the public has the right to know and have access uh, to this footage. Uh, obviously, you're seeing a very deranged individual, someone who obviously was trying to harm uh, Nancy Pelosi and her family. and. No one should stand for that. And this is something that we see time and time again, which is how can we provide safety and protection uh, to our public officials, both Democrats, Republicans, our Supreme Court justices, et cetera. Well, you know, and now that it has been released, Mercedes, and, you know, this will be obviously a lengthy court trial as, you know, DePaul is facing some extremely serious charges. And we're looking at the video right now, again, just minutes ago, this video released by San Francisco uh, DA's office. Um, how do you think uh, the reaction will be to this? Obviously, there's been a lot of questions. There was an NBC report that was since redacted about, you know, why DePaul was here and, you know, a lot of questions still remain. This video is not that conclusive either. Again, we may hear from San Francisco's uh, other things being uh, released, including some interviews after. But what do you think we'll do now we have the video? I guess the question is what now? Well, I mean, obviously, you're seeing at this point uh, the the, uh, the the assaultant going after Paul Pelosi. So it did, does give some clarity uh, to uh, what had happened that that night. I think you did see early on a lot of uh, assumptions being made about this attack. It, and you, it, again, it was spreading through the internet. And I think it's important to be able to have uh, the transparency and know the facts of uh, what happened that night. Again, I think when you look at Paul Pelosi, an elderly man, someone who obviously had faced uh, this assaultant, I think it's it brings like, a lot of it, it does now. bring to mind a lot of questions and these videos might help provide some of the answers and give some clarity. All right. We also got to ask you about a couple other things going on today. We'll, of course, have more on this. Uh, we'll get some more analysis, too, on the video, possibly with a forensic expert coming up later.